So you have a great section in your book called What We Need to Know About Toddlers. Um, I love it because it's super helpful for parents who have a baby who's transitioning into the toddler period to read about these things up front. Um, so could you share like your top three what we need to know about toddlers, please? Yeah, I think one of my favorites is that expression, toddlers aren't having a hard time, uh, aren't doing us a hard time, they're having a hard time. Yes. Yes. And um, we take everything so personally and we think that they're actually trying to wind us up, but actually it's not the way they expected or like, for example, the child can melt down about using the wrong spoon like this is not the spoon that I use every day and like instead of them just thinking oh well yeah great give me so hard time about the spoon it's actually them really not understanding why is it different so every other day I'm um, being able to support them through that um, also that they have like a crisis of independence and they have to be able to learn to say no so what seemed like an easy baby and they were pretty easy going all of a sudden they're like saying no to us and we're like what but this is actually part of their you know exerting their own independence, that I'm independent from my parents. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so what happens when I do this and that? And also what's really fun about that as well is that sometimes they're gonna be super cuddly and wanting to be your baby, and other days they're wanting to be like, me do it, me do it. And it's really hard to read it, but to know that that's all normal and it's part of this process of separation from the adult and becoming their own identity. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other would be that toddlers need to move. So don't expect them to be able to sit for long times, you know, at the table with the meals or on a train or at a doctor's surgery. They're going to have to get up and move. And so um, rather than giving them an iPad or something like that at a cafe, it's like an opportunity when they start to get a little like wiggly. In the old days, my kids are now 18 and 17, we would get up and we'd go and see maybe someone preparing the food in the cafe or pop outside and watch some dogs on the street. Or if there's a little aquarium, you can go and look at the fish and then come back or always come prepared as well. So have some things for the children to do because they're not going to be just sitting there for half an hour while you have a luxurious lunch. Yeah. <laughs> they need to move. Yeah. I love lunch. that. I love the theme of not taking things personally, both the, you know, whatever it is, uh, behavior that they're upset about, um, or incident that they're upset about, and also the saying no, not taking that personally. It's not that they're trying to be disrespectful. Um, it's a developmental phase. Yes. Um, and then understanding their needs. I love that.